weather. Same thing down in our south zone from Monroe over to Adrian. Overnight lows down to 31 to 34. West zone, same sort of deal between 30 and 33 degrees in Livingston County and Western Oakland County. Upper 20s and low 30s in our north zone. So what that means is some of these rain showers, while becoming more widely scattered, will turn into snow showers. 48 degrees currently. Fortunately, with overnight conditions such as they are, even though snow will be coming down, not coming down very heavily, no big accumulation by dawn. That's some good news. Still wet out there also for our uh, Pistons game. Of course, Pistons are playing inside, but outside LCA, 45 degrees in the next hour, upper 30s by game's end. Remember, this is the last home game for our Pistons for the ride home. Be careful with some of those slippery conditions. Snowflakes, few and far between, but still could cause a mess if you're not careful. 42 currently for our friends over in Romeo. Same thing in Ann Arbor. 50 in Saline for now, but you'll see temperatures in the 30s by midnight and afterward. Notice what happens here on the computer models. This rotation continues over southeast Michigan. Notice the showers become uh, they become fewer in number, which is some good news, but you see some blue and purple showing up here. That's that rain snow mix I was talking about just before midnight and a few scattered snow showers when we wake up at dawn. But as you can see, you don't have to cancel any plans for Saturday. The snow's not, not going to be that heavy. It's not going to go ahead and make you cancel any plans or make travel impossible. Just keep it a little tricky out there getting from point A to point B. No need to cancel plans, just bundle up and drive safely, especially on Saturday. 33 degrees overnight tonight with a few of those snowflakes that will be around. Now on Saturday, a few snowflakes in the morning, emphasis on few, a light scattered mix in the afternoon, a high of 43. Milder weather on Palm Sunday, a high of 53, temperature going the right direction. And look at that, 60s in no time for next week, low 60s at first, but upper 60s by the end of next week. All right, Andrew.